San Antonio team who loves the direct approach. Yes, they might have four in the midfield, but they tend to be really vertical. So if they can use that horizontal nature um, in which they play, that they're going to be Left successful. Foot. Hernandez tied for the lead in USL with Tennessee on the campaign. Ja'Cory Hayes out top, Shannon Gomez drives it on goal and parried away by the keeper, Tim Trilk. Taking your set pieces, but man, look at this low driven shot. Most people wouldn't have the guts to take it from that far out, but. On a girdle, the start of the year is the Indy 11 starting keeper. And this one is directed out. Connor Maloney will come down with it and gives it a go, and that's high and wide of the keeper, Trilk. And back through the middle of the park. Sebastian Velasquez, upfield, Cam Lindley, the former SAFC midfielder, drives it across, and it's put into the back of the net by Jack Blake. The no. former San Diego loyal midfielder, it's a perfect feed from Cam Lindley, and Jack Blake drives it in, and Indy 11, 10 minutes in, is up one goal. They want to drive it across, and they want that kind of daylight in front of the goal, and SAFC just handed it right over to him. But what a great job of just Having that composure and finishing. They play in front of some of the best fans in USL, and this is a tough place for teams to come in and win as Douglas Martinez, the former Sac Republic winger, will send that one wide. Damrod coming along for the ride. Asante fills the gap. Asante gives it a go, punched away. Just enough space to get this one through. I was going to say, can't give Asante that kind of space, but great read there from Nick Marsman. SAFC is not showing up in true form here. Hernandez. Headed! Punched away by Trilk. Maybe I spoke too soon, Dan. One, turning it on goal. Big time save. Beautiful service in. And man, he gets just on it. But even better save. Moving. Robbie Dambrot with a step on Shannon Gomez. Martinez overlapping on the wing. Trying to return into the middle. It'll drop down just to the edge of the box. Velasquez has got Asante to his right. Asante across, directed, punched away at the last moment by Marsman. Denies a goal for Martinez. Center of the park, the way he's they completely disorganized the San Antonio FC back line. Lots of ball watching. Nick Marsman coming in just in time. Back to Velasquez. And Asante now from Lindley. Asante right down Broadway. And it's off here to Martinez. Drops it to Blake. And Jack Blake off the bar with the rebound is put home. And Indy 11 is up two goals. Sebastian Guenzotti. Makes it two for the visitors here in the first half at Toyota Field. Fantastic work again. You can see the patience of Indy 11 as they move the ball side to really side. Disorganizing SAFC on the defensive side. And then, of course, a wide open look there at the net. Followed up by putting it away. Jack Blake denied a brace by Nick Marsman and the inside of the post, but Sebastian Guenzotti's there to finish it off for his 11th goal. Still another 90 seconds or so remaining in added time. Can SAFC cash in? And that's by Lone. It goes down to the box, and San Antonio awarded a penalty. And a red, a red card to Budani. Or is it a yellow? It's a yellow. It's a yellow, okay, yellow card. Patino to the spot, drives it past him, Trilkin in, and San Antonio's on the board. It's a 2-1 game. What an incredible PK taken by the ultimate professional Patino. Trying to commit the keeper, he waited to the commuter. The keeper committed himself, and then he went to the opposite corner. I mean, that is a class act of a penalty kick goal. Over at the far stick, outswinger in this instance. Drives this to the back post. He's paying it up. It's past Marsman and in. It's a third goal for Indy 11. Adrian Dispay puts it into the back of the net. And the visitors restore their two goal lead 3 1 here in the 53rd minute. Absolute dagger to the heart there for Marsman. So close. This one, we'll have a look at it. What a great service in. Anytime it starts getting bumped around there. It's hard to handle. Looking to get forward here. More on that in a moment. 
Hernandez. And concedes there Martinez. Back to Jack Blake and Guenzotti. Pressure coming. Dispossessed. Hernandez off the back heel. Hernandez drives it on. Trout the rebound. It's free. And Tani Olawashi puts it in. And it's Tani to save the day. We almost half expected it after his last two showings here for SAFC. Behind whether he's taking the ball one-on-one -on -one or whether he's there to follow the run. And that's the SAFC that I think fans are used to seeing is that kind of nitty-grittiness. They're finishing and getting goals any way they have to. Miscue by the keeper, Tim Trill. Tanny. The veteran coming on for Cam Lindley. Tanny trying to sneak behind. Tanny gets free. Great save by Tim Trill. Tanny nearly put in a third. And that'll belong back to the keeper, Trill. Trill, the ninja on the end line here. My goodness. Cat like reaction. It's like an injury there. That's yeah, Nathan who got uh, stood up. And now a foul here whistled and a, a yellow to Jack Blake in the 61st minute. Fifth player to go into the books tonight. So Alan Marcina emptying the book. Oh, what a save by Trill as he robs Shannon Gomez. Shannon took it on the first time. Tim Trill with a remarkable reactionary save. What a service across. And Shannon Gomez off his left foot. First time, tremendous from the keeper. And Shannon go. Let's see how things change here with him in the mix. Lawashe off the crossbar. Oh, inches away. Talk about a banger of a shot. Again, he finds the open seams. You can't give him even a half step of space, and bam, it hits the post. Yeah, Tim Trope definitely did equalized late against Tampa Bay after going down a goal late in the second half. Here's Zuhir. It's a good ball toward the back post, headed off the crossbar. The rebound is in. The equalizer for Fabian Garcia in the 88th minute, and we're level at three. Dan, you called it. Most people say a commentator's curse. I say that's a commentator's gift. What a call there, and what a finish from Fabian. Fabian Garcia. It's actually Tanner. It was Garcia who put it off. Something tells me this playoff game might go into extra time next weekend. <laughs> well, that, that would follow the path of what has been the final 10 matches of the season for San Antonio FC.